Hi everyone. I've recently been working on my game and wanted to add a grenade. I wanted to add a fake bounce effect to it which didn't affect collisions. So I created one using a Z axis instead of the regular X and Y. And here's the final product. Here's an example of the bounce effect in my game I'm working on. I'll be posting updates soon so be sure to check out my Twitter. So we're starting with a blank project, and all we have is a ball and a controller that spawns them. So we'll start with initializing a few variables. So here we have four variables defined. Z, which is the position on the z-axis. And then z-grav, which is basically the gravity at which it falls. And then z-speed, which is the force it's given. So next we'll be calculating z based on its speed and gravity. So the first line determines your z position. The logic behind it is if your z speed is greater than gravity, that'll result in a positive number, meaning you're going up. So the second line returns 90% of your z speed each step. So this is useful with the first line, because eventually, when your speed is less than gravity, it'll return a negative number, meaning you're going down. So when z equals zero, we set the speed back to the maximum, but we reduce the max speed it can get to. So this results in the object not going as high as it went before. And the last thing we do is clamp z to make sure it doesn't reach anything below the ground. Now that we have z, we want to go into the draw event and add it to our y value. That was pretty much all of the code, so let's test it out if it works. So the code works. The object isn't actually moving, but it appears to be in the draw event because of the Z. One thing that's missing is depth, so we're going to make it appear bigger once it's higher up. As our z-value increases, it adds to the original image scale. The last thing we need to do is go back into the draw event. Instead of using draw sprite, we now need to use draw sprite external in order to use the image scale. So that was how to create a fake bounce effect. A lot of these numbers can be changed to whatever you find more suitable. These just happen to work uh, best for me. The download to this project file will be in the description. And other than that, thanks for watching.